In the beginning, when Adam sinned, death stole everything away from the human race. Everything that was dear to us. But when the Lord Jesus came, he found a way to make death, his death, the source of absolutely every eternal blessing. All the blessings of God flow to us through the death of Christ. And as we read through the Gospel by Luke, he begins his book with a story about an old man named Simeon. And Simeon had been promised that he would not see death until he saw the Lord's Messiah. And when he held that little babe in his arms, he could say with a radiant face, Now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Seeing God's salvation in the person of the Lord Jesus allows one to depart in peace. It's the only way. At the end of his book, he tells us the story about a bandit hanging on a Roman cross who almost at the moment of death discovers God's Messiah hanging beside him on another tree. And here's the blessed words from the lips of the Savior today. Thou shalt be with me in paradise. It was the worst day of his life. The day he was crucified. The best day of his life. The day he went to paradise and was with the Lord Jesus. His highest hope at that moment was, Remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus took it and raised it to a level that dear man never imagined. Not when I come into my kingdom. But today, not the kingdom, but paradise. Not remember me, but with me. That's what the poor man heard that day at the cross. And you know, the two thieves on either side tell us something, don't they? They tell us that it's possible to be near Christ at the moment of death and to miss it all. And it's possible to be near death and to receive Christ. There was one saved at the moment of death that none might despair, but only one that none might presume.